This is EA Sports. This is EA Sports. It's in the game. We're here to play. Mad. Oh, nine. Reason I still have the game. Mostly traded them all away and stuff back then, um, but I mean, this is the uh, I have the special edition and stuff. The 20th anniversary. I didn't even know I can get a gamer picture unlocked. I haven't played this in years, so it's probably stuff that was added recently. Hello and welcome to Madden NFL 09, the 20th anniversary of the Madden football franchise. I'm John Madden. This year you will experience video game football like never before, with a style of game that automatically adjusts to your skill level and gives you a gaming experience that's tailored to you. First we'll put you through a virtual test to determine your current skill level. Once your test results are in, you will have your own personalized difficulty setting called My Skills. We'll also be calculating your Madden IQ, which is a score that constantly changes based on your performance. So let's get started. Now, I, I basically did that a long time ago and everything, and it was a totally different system, so I don't even have it anymore. Um, I'm just going to go to play now. I'm just going to go to Oakland, Philly. Why? Because that's generally what we've been playing. Um, I can go to three minute quarters here, so I'm going to. And I'm going to go with clear, clear day, okay? Let's go to It's just about time for football once again. EA Sports is proud to bring you this exciting NFL broadcast. Now we'll head over to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the start of the game. Hey guys? With a beautiful day in the forecast, we'll get ready for today's game. Hi everyone, Tom Hammond here along with Chris Collinsworth. We're just about ready for the opening kickoff. Let's take it down to the field. And this game is now underway. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Drop at the 34. And we'll see how their offense has prepared for this matchup as you they see come off the field for the first time. You can tell the... Um... Let's see, they're going... Uh... They'll go to work at the 34-yard line. First and 10. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Open motions left. It was back then they used to have the things where you used to have like different type player types and you could tell based on the icon underneath of them what kind of player they were. He doesn't get back to the line. Disappointing loss there for the offense. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from, but the danger in that is you run away from him and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. It's second and 12, ball on their own 32. Nickel defense. Uh, 
pitcher. He's dropped in the open field. They get around five yards from the halfback. Offense with third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 37. He drops back. Throws the bullet to the left. Great open field tackle. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. They line up at the 49. The defense sets up in the nickel. They go with the talk. It's a loose ball. Aether gets the loose ball. And the defense comes up with a big play there. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over and you're going to lose. Why would I want to challenge a play where I got the ball? Somebody explain that to They'll me. They'll start this drive at midfield. It's first and ten. McNabb is under center. He has two tight ends. They'll throw on first down. Catches it one-handed. He's dropped at about the 47-yard line. Not much of a gain at all on that first down completion. Pretty tough sometimes when a quarterback is looking at his first read. It's not there. The second read is there, but he knows his guy is going to get hit immediately afterwards, and that's what happened there. They took away the first and second read. The Eagles line up with 3-1. They'll give it off here. He's tackled at the 45. Three-yard gain by the running back. Third and five, ball on the 45. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He's looking to throw. He scrambles away. He's going to run, brought down at the 44 yard line. And they get no push for the offensive line. Oh yeah, they did. They were all moonwalking on that play. They were pushing, they were just pushing and going backwards. Okay, I'm not punching, it's... Too short of a game and not much indecision by the coach here. He'll keep the offense out there to go for it. He drops back to pass. Short throw. There for the reception. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. And this is an aggressive play caller for this offense. He just doesn't seem to care if it's first down or fourth down. He's attacking. McNabb is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out one. First down, looking to throw. Gets the ball away. And they get him at the 28-yard line. Nice little pickup on that pass pattern. And I really shouldn't feel this way, but... I get a little nervous every time this guy goes up to make a catch, you know, because he's had a little bit of a history of dropping some balls, but today doing a nice job hanging on and a big play there. Offset I formation in the backfield. Again with the run. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Gain of about a yard. They line up at the 27. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Yeah. I had to time the audible, so there's no point. I'm just not gonna hike it. They're like way on there. Gonna I would audible and pass, but 
No time. We've reached the end of the first quarter, still no score. From the 27-yard line. And they'll run him again. He's brought down right around the 22-yard line. Just about a three-yard gain. That brings up second down. And this is play number eight on this drive. Offset eye formation in the backfield. McNabb calls an audible. McNabb is looking to stay perfect on this drive. Still good on the drive. Nice little play there. Pretty read that time by the quarterback. He knew they were coming with the blitz. He knew where the single coverage was, and he made them pay for it. First down now, and 10 to go. Ball that's on the right, 10. Man, it's like, that's the exact same play I would call at the end of the first quarter. But Another run. And they get him at the four. That play goes for about six. That'll bring up second down. And they'll line it up three yards away. Offset eye formation in the backfield. He'll get the call again. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Great rushing touchdown there. The thing you love to see about this halfback is he always keeps his legs moving and churning no matter what. Even if he's getting hit, he's never stopping. And the point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick. Higgins from the one. Drill at the 31. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game was brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. They'll go to work at the 31. The Raiders line up in an I formation. Back to pass. Short throw to the left. Brown gets the interception. Inside the 30. He makes a great open field tackle. Why did he even make that pass? Yeah, Tom, I think he got baited into that throw. He thought the defensive back was going elsewhere. He did a little fake, came back in, made the pick. Just a real heads-up play. It's first and 10, ball on the 16-yard line. Quarterback is in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Throws on the run. It'll be first and goal. You know, Donovan McNabb is really becoming much more of the classic drop-back passer. Early in his career, he was a tremendous runner, wanted to get out. But now, more and more, you're seeing him reading the defenses, making the clever little throws, and is so difficult to defend for a defense because he can still come busting out of there on the run. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He's looking to throw. Short pass to his left. And he scores. What a play. He didn't need much. And he went to his whiteout for the score. Down around the goal line in that situation, you know you're probably going to get man coverage. And they don't think anybody can cover this whiteout one-on-one. -on -one. Here's the point after. Point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. The 
kick. From his own goal line. They get him at the 31. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one could be disastrous for this offense. They'll start this drive at the 31. The Raiders line up with 3-1. They'll give it off here. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Pickup of about eight, and that will bring up second down. Second down and two to go. Ball on the 38. Single set backfield. Vargas gets the carry. Brought down at the 47 yard line. They need to come up with a better game plan to stop this guy. Yeah, you're not kidding. They can't keep giving up those big chunks of yardage like that. They do, it's gonna be awfully tough to stop this offense. Russell with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Throws it short with the catch. He's brought down at the 40. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next. But this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. Passes to his left. And they get him at the 27-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Dumps it out right. Has plenty of room. Brought down at the 14. Talk about a throw. Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have got that bullet. First and ten. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. Here's the give. Vargas seems to be a little shaken up on that play. I thought that was always goofy the way he did that. One of the things is like they thought it was like really cool and a great idea at the time, but the offense sets up seven yards away. Kind of winded up being a silly The gimmick. Eagles bring in their dime packing. And they use motion. Russell hasn't missed yet. And he makes the catch. Touchdown. The coaches have to be happy with that? Yeah, I guess they are. Anytime you draw up a play and it works to perfection like that, everybody's happy, except the defense. They come on the field to attempt the extra point. Extra point is good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Excellent kick here. Brought down at the 29 yard line. You can't help but wonder if they'll be able to make it three straight drives ending with a touchdown.
They'll take over at the 29-yard line. Out of the shotgun. He looks to throw on first down. Not much room to throw into, Ooh. and it's intercepted. He's tackled at about the 31. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball and grabbed that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. They made a big move on that one. Nickelback is in on this play. He drops back, passes it out, there for the catch. And they get him right around the 20-yard line. A decent gain on the pass. And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. Russell drops back. Throws Blyle on the run. Oh, I missed the tackle. They'll get in for the touchdown. Outstanding play to the wide receiver as he took it the distance. Well, that's just a big time pitch and catch right there. The quarterback made a beautiful throw, but it was the route by the wide receiver that set it up. He was as open as I've seen all afternoon. It's good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Here's the kick. They get him with the 26 yard line. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time and it led to an interception. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. First and 10. The offense lines this one up in shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Surveys the field. Huff oh, boy. It threw another pick. Now we'll take a minute to look a little more closely at that play using EA Sports backtrack. Here's Chris with the breakdown. And here's one of those plays where he just seemed to rush things too much. He never really set his feet and didn't look off the guys in the secondary. When you break this one down, you'll see one of his other options break free of the coverage, but by the time... On this one, the defensive coordinator decides to send some additional pass rushers at the quarterback with the blitz, and that gives the wide receiver the opportunity to break free. Time to take a more in-depth look at the plays that were called in this one. This is what the offense called on that play. And here's a look at the call on defense. Now it's time to look at the NFL success rate of an offensive call like this when you take into account the personnel out there right now. I could hear wine and could change the thing, but I think that's stupid too. Um, you're playing a game. You're supposed to like, oh, there you go, field goal? No, they're not. So with a half ending, they're just going to try and put three points on the board. Doesn't look like they trust that he's going to kick it here. They'll stay in a base defense. Field goal unit is out on the field. They're going to try and get these guys three points before halftime. Here's the kick. I thought he had a shot at that one, but the ball seemed to be working against him. He'll need to just put that miss out of his head and concentrate on the next time he gets a shot. And the score remains the Raiders 14, the Eagles 14. They'll set up shop at the 34. Let's see if the QB just heaves it up there and one of his guys can't come down with it. Goes through his reach. He's going for it all. 
tackle at about the 21. Oh well. And we've got a tie ball game here as we pause for halftime. Thanks. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of the first half. He kicks it. Dropped at the 17. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First down now and 10 to go. McNabb comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split on one. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Well, Brian Westport's one of those guys that's always played with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. When he was drafted, he was too small. He would be a third down back. He couldn't do this. He couldn't do that. And yet he has proven in his career to be a very complete player and totally unafraid, despite his size, a tough blocker and a tough inside runner. They'll give it off here. He's dropped for a loss. Tried to run, but there was nothing available. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Second and 11. Westbrook lines up as the single back. McNabb back to throw. Off his back foot. He's tackled at the 38. And simply a great throw there. Yeah, that really was a nice touch that time. Perfect uh, sort of combination of velocity and touch. A very catchable ball thrown by this quarterback so that you don't have to overly focus on what you're doing and you can get your eyes back down the field, try and get a good run after the catch. Out of the eye formation. Now go with the run once again. Makes a cut and he will be hit and dropped. Westbrook gives them a fresh set of downs on the three yard run. They line up at the 42. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Westbrook takes it left. And they get him at the 48 yard line. Westbrook gains seven yards on that play. Second down now, three yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He lost yardage on the play. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for it. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, uh, a little help, please. Third down, five yards for the first. Ball on their own 47. Westbrook is the lone setback. Three receivers in the formation. Changes the play at the line. He's looking to throw. Looks down the field. Moves to his right. On the run, he throws it. Batted away. We'll probably see the butt unit here as that incompletion brings up fourth down. The Eagles come out showing three wide. Back to throw. Looks for a man open. Makes the. Brought down at the 39 yard line. 
I think Donovan McNabb can just make you look so bad at times. You know he has the quick release, he gets the thing out of there, sometimes he takes off with a, with a run and makes you play sort of a spy situation against him. But then you forget how big an arm he really has. He has the ability to get the ball as far downfield as anybody in this league. They line up at the 39. Philadelphia comes to the line with three wide. They'll keep it on the ground again. He fights forward to about the 36. Three yards there. Tom, that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. It's third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 36. McNabb steps up to the line, three wide receiver. There's a play fake, looking for an open man. Comes down with it. He's dropped at about the 23-yard line. Not too bad a pass there. Not too bad at all. And sometimes those little touch throws are actually more difficult than the bullet passes. Kind of hard to come up with the timing to hit the receiver right in stride. But that was well thrown. They line up at the 24. Westbrook alone in the backfield. They go with the run. Westbrook fumbles it. And they fall on the loose ball. And that was not a good time for a fumble. Well, there's really never a good time for a fumble, but you can tell. He just got sloppy with that football. He broke down on his fundamentals and he gave it up. They'll start this drive at the 22. Oakland is going with the offset eye backfield. They'll throw on first down. Passes over the middle. And they get him around the 31 yard line. Eight yard gain. Great game so far. After three quarters, it's all tied up. Two yards away here on second down. Vargas is the deep back as they line up in the alley. He finds the tight end in open space. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that play an awfully tough to execute. Looks to pass. Gets the pass off. Drops the easy pick. Miller was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Oakland goes with the ace set here. on the inside handoff. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third down. Third and ten coming up. The Raiders line up in an I formation. He's looking to throw. Looks right. Throws. 
Bradley bats it down. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Leckler punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. He'll take it from the 8. He's dropped at the 15. Seems like the coverage broke down a bit on that. I thought they had him pretty well contained on that play, but he did find a small crack in the coverage, got it up the field. They were lucky they got hold of him. He could have broken that one off. They'll start at the 15. The Eagles line up with three receivers, single back formation. Little handoff. Brought down at the 15. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on their own 15. Single set backfield. Looks the pass. Surveys the field. It's intercepted. Uh oh. He took a shot at the 19-yard line. What a crucial interception. Well, if you want to know why quarterbacks get paid so much money, there it is. They win games for you, but with mistakes like that, they can lose games for you. First and 10. Ball on the 19. Offset eye formation in the backfield. They'll give it off here. They finally bring him down, and it's first and goal. After that run, they might want to give him the ball a few more times. I agree. It looks like the defense is a little tired out there. Whatever the case, they're having a tough time now stopping the run. Pressure squarely on the defense here as they look for the goal line stand that would hold them to just a field goal. They hand it off again. Hit and drop behind the line. Big time play by the defensive end. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. 11 yards out. Single back formation. On the ground with a tail. Tackle around the seven yard line. Five yard gain. And so it'll be third down. Six more yards for the score. One man backfield. Miller takes off to the left side. Drops back to pass. He needs to make a decision. They get to him. The defense calls a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. It's fourth down. They'll line up the field goal unit here. This one is from 31 yards out. The kick that time as he puts it right through. Good distance on the kick. Two minutes left in the ball game. Down three, under two minutes to go. It doesn't get much more exciting than this. Well, there's really no other way to put it. The game is on the quarterback's shoulders at this point. And the first first down is always the most difficult to get. Once you get that one, a lot of times the momentum really gets on your side. This could very well be the last possession for the offense. They'll need to make something happen here. They'll throw on first down with the throw. And it's completed. He's dropped at the 44-yard line. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. First down, looking to throw. He's running out of time. Looks like the official got someone for interference. Now we'll see which way they call him. Pass interference. Defense. 
This one goes against the defender. First and I ball. can't really blame the defender in that situation. He's trying to go for the ball. The offensive guy makes a little move for the ball. He ends up running through. It just happens sometimes. The Eagles come out in a shotgun set. McNabb doesn't like what he sees. He's looking to throw. Scans the field. This pass is incomplete. Jackson was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Well, needs a little bit more. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Oakland brings in the nickel here. He drops back. Makes the short throw. He's tackled at the 33. I don't know how he came up with that. Well, let's face it, the quarterback got away with one there. That was pretty tight coverage. They squeeze it in there that time, but be careful. The Eagles changing their play at the line. First down, looking to throw. Brings this one in. He's brought down at the 29-yard line. They gained five on the play. From the gun. The Eagles changing their play at the line. He's looking to throw. Looking for a receiver. Makes the catch. And they get him right around the 20-yard line. Smith picks up about seven on the play. The completion is also good for first down. Using a 4-3 set against four wide receivers means that basically linebackers have to get really involved in covering wideouts. That's a tough assignment. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He looks to throw on first down. Oh, no! Will seal their fate. It's the miracle jump guy. And makes the big turnover. Tremendous play by the defense there, but let's face it, that is a turnover that this quarterback is going to have to live with for several weeks to come. Oh. Well, he set me up. I, he was wide open on the flat, and I just figured he was going to be not covered and the linebacker just jumped in there. I could rewind it and stuff and redo it, but that's not the way I play. Um, I really play, so I'm gonna lose this game. So From their own 19 yard line. I have no time to go. Formation. And I'm sure why they're not just kneeling down. Feeds it to the back. And he will lose yardage on the play. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Offset eye formation in the backfield. The ball's right in the world, they're not even going to hike it. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Again, this is David B. 69. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or anything, just uh, please make comments below. And this has been a good one. Our final score is the Raiders 17, the Eagles 14. Well, as we just about wrap this one up, let's take a final look at some of the key plays of the game. This concludes another game of Madden NFL 2009. From all of us here, thanks again for being part of this game. Thank you. And you can see it's like you're, it you basically is like it pushes my guy and everything back and it adjusts your settings based on that. Whatever. It doesn't mean that much. But uh, just wanted to show you that point um i forget if there's a thing other thing i'm just doing it right now if you want to succeed in the national football league you yeah to i don't want to do virtual training Uh, basically, they, they put you in the thing. It's 
one of the things that was extra in this in this game. And I wanted to just show you real quick. But basically it'll it lets you play is like Something that I'm not, I wasn't including in my walkthrough that I just thought you'd be interested in seeing. But if you looked here though, it's not, this isn't the, uh, it says it's 93, which is all good and all. But the problem with this version of the game is it's McNabb. Ah! That's the normal sound we get out of Philadelphia when my dad's playing. So, anyway, just wanted to show you that they had this game and everything, but it has, unfortunately, the 09 rosters. So it's like, as cool as it was, it's just really, it wasn't really that great because it doesn't bring you back to the 93 rosters and stuff like that. They don't, they never had the players and stuff associated in that game back then, and they don't here either because they just include the numbers, but... Um, it's just not cool. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that real quick. Thank you, and good night.